What's up everybody? It's Toby from Life with Toby and I'm back with another video. I'm so excited for today but I'm always excited in every single video as you would know. <laughs> but in particular today is going to be one of those videos where we are doing something for a very special occasion like a wedding. So if you are going to be a guest at a wedding this makeup is for you. I made this video in mind because I know that I have so many weddings coming up and I usually do the same type of makeup. The The thing that I would add to it is say a glow or you know I'd, I'd concentrate more on my skin than I would my eyeshadows for example because you know at weddings you sit there for a while. You're gonna sit girl and sometimes you're going to be baking in the sun like you just don't know you know and, and and sometimes you're just waiting around you know like you're waiting for the bride to arrive like you're waiting for somebody to arrive and you'll find that you'll be sitting at a wedding that was supposed to take two hours and you're there for like six yeah that's six hours before the wedding starts so you want your makeup to last you want your makeup to stay on your face for a long, long, long time. You don't just want it to stay on your face, you want it to look good while it's staying on your face. So, this makeup is what we are going to do today. The wedding guest makeup. Come on, somebody. So if you wanna see how to get this vibe, then stay tuned. Let's get into it. Okay, so my makeup has not begun, but my glasses are off and we are going to get started. So when you are attending a wedding and you know that it's going to be outside or whatever the case is, what you want to do is protect your skin. So the first thing that I would say you should put on is sunscreen. Sunscreen is for everybody, okay? It doesn't matter if you're black or white, you got some melanin, don't got melanin, put that sunscreen on, protect your face. That's what you want to do. The kind of sunscreen that you want to look for is a, is a non-oil based sunscreen, so water based sunscreen, or something that kind of gives you more of a matte finish. So take some time. If you know that you have a wedding that's coming up in say a month, a few weeks or whatever, take some time to just try out some sunscreens um, and see how they look on your face. Like see if it mattifies your face or if it like makes you super oily or whatever the case is try it out I'll probably do a review on sunscreens for black skin next thing you want to do is you want to put on some primer as usual the primer that I use every single time is the Revlon photo ready color correcting primer you already know this and just rub that in good stuff so once you have your foundation what you want to do is kind of start giving the illumination of a glowing from within type of skin so the trick that we're going to do to do today is we're going to take this essence glow to go illuminating setting spray and we're going to just spray that on our faces see that that's like look how splotchy it is <laughs> it's really bad anyways not a big deal i'll just then rub that in and then it's got like a little bit of a glow to the skin you see that Ooh, yes the next step that we're going to do to give ourselves a little bit more glow is we're gonna put some um, illuminating drops these ones that I got are from Mac I do know that NYX also has some illuminating drops I know that Fendi cosmetics sends some I mean make some illuminating liquid stuff I know that iconic also has Kiko has most of these things are online and I will link their Instagram pages down below. But for the next drops, you get those from Clicks. You can get them from Fushi, uh, not Fushini. You can get them from Clicks. You can get them from Discam. They're really, really awesome. The illuminating drops that I'm going to be using are these ones from MAC and they are the ones in Pink Rebel. So what I'm just gonna do is put some on my finger. I don't know, I have more control when I put things on my finger first. And then just put that on the tops of my cheeks. I try to put the drops where the sun would be hitting you on a normal day. And I just use my finger to rub that in. Great, so now that we have that on, we can go straight into our foundation. The foundation that I would choose is a foundation that kind of stays on your face and does not transfer onto other people. Now, if you know the bride, you or even if you don't know the bride like it's polite to go and greet her and congratulate her but she's probably going to be wearing white and you the last thing that you want to do is leave your makeup on her dress like that's disrespect like what so you want to use a foundation that does not transfer 
and stays onto your face but also keeps you matte keeps you looking good so the foundations that i'd recommend you go for if you're going to buy a foundation for this occasion is anything that says matte mattifying it's going to mat you up like mad. i know mac makes amazing makeup that is matte you can go for that the Studio Fix Pro Longwear, those are really, really awesome. For the drugstore ones, the ones that are cheap but good, I would definitely go for a Maybelline product. Um, the Superstay 24-hour Maybelline really, really works wonders. Um, L'Oreal also works wonders. I think it's the Infallible one. That's the one that, you know, stays on your face and not on the other people. So what I'm going to use is the Fit Me Maybelline foundation this is in the color 360 as you can see and i'm just gonna put that all over my face i would say um go for a full coverage for a wedding i mean you're gonna be taking lots of pictures it's not only the bride that takes pictures at wedding so you and if you've been waiting forever you definitely don't want to have your blemishes or your pores sticking out or anything like that so you definitely want to go for a full coverage foundation for the day and i'm just going to use my real techniques face brush i'm gonna buff that in okay so once you have done that you see there's still that glow from within still coming out which is really really awesome it's because of the um the highlight that we put ooh, underneath the foundation and i love that okay great so the next thing that we're going to do is we are going to be doing our eyebrows so the type of brow that you want is really completely up to you but you do want your brow to last the entire day so this is my favorite most favorite method in the whole wide world take soap the soap that i'm using is from pears it's a transparent soap that's why i'm going for it and i just take a little bit of water and i spray and then i take a spoolie and I do that, as you can see. And then I just brush in my eyebrows. Now this is gonna help me to just shape my eyebrows. And once this dries, my eyebrows will be locked in place. These brows are not going anywhere. Cool, so then all you need to do is just wait for that to dry, it takes about anywhere between two to five minutes depends on the humidity in your room now i'm right by a window so there ain't no humidity the wind's blowing in my face now the brow product that i'm going to be using is a combination of powder and pomade so i love me some pomade so the brow product that i'm going to be using is the eyelore brow pomade and the color that i have is in dark this is the eyelore brow pomade that i'm going to be using today it just looks like that it is up to you what kind of brow you want you want a thick brow go for a girl you want a thin brow go for a girl ain't nobody gonna be looking well you know it's a wedding people are gonna be looking at your brows but you decide whatever you're comfortable with whatever you're confident to do do that but this dries really really well it dries dry and it keeps your eyebrows in place like it literally keeps your eyebrows in place all day so now that you have your eyebrow on using the pomade you're gonna take the eyebrow kit I think it's a trio it comes in something just like this by itself been using it broke this is the one that I've been using. Um, I'm just going to take that middle section there. What you're going to do is just take some of that and put that through your eyebrows using the same um, brush. And the reason why we're doing this is just to give your eyebrows some depth. It also just, you know, gives it more of a fluttery look. So it's more of a natural brow. So more of a natural finish to it. And that's what we do with our eyebrows. I'm just going to clean up under my eyebrows using concealer. The concealer that I'm going to be using is LA Go Pros in Beautiful Bronze. And I'm just going to use that to clean up under my eyebrows and make them a little bit even. As you can see, this one is a little bit um, 
blunt and this one is sharper so i'm just gonna try and get them to look the same okay so now that that is done we're gonna go straight on to our eyes i don't normally wear eyeshadow to a wedding um and if i do i just use say one or two kind of shades and that's just to deepen my shade a little bit um but we obviously want our eyeshadow to stay on our eyes so what you are going to want to use is a product that's going to help your eyeshadows stick onto your eyelids funny enough we get oily eyelids and that's why you find that you know any products like if you're wearing um uh, just foundation or powder or whatever it is that you decide to use and you find that your eyeshadow starts to crease like you get those little lines in your eyes you probably have oily eyelids what I usually take is my MAC paint pot in constructivist that's the closest color to my eyelid shade and I just put that all over my eyes I really like the color payoff of this um, shade over here and that's why I use it so I try to just use this by itself and it gives like a really nice brown tone, you know? Okay, so that's literally how I do that. I just put that on, leave it there, and it stays. So the next thing that I love to do, because this is so plain and simple, is I love to give myself a winged liner girl winged liner i'm a brush girl like i love brushes so whenever i get the opportunity to use any type of brush girl i'm gonna run to that what i like to use is a gel liner and usually those come in like little bowl thingies that look that are like this tiny and um i just take a really skinny brush and i just do that winged eyeliner how dramatic you want to go also up to you if you don't want to do it so dramatic also up to you just depends on your outfit depends on your mood depends on your skill you can do whatever it is that you want i am going to go for a medium type today i'm not going to go for anything like too dramatic so the eyeliner gel of choice today is the la girl liner this is the one in black i think the I think they've just recently changed the packaging so it might look a little bit different but it comes in a box it looks like a really promising box where there's a huge amount of things inside or at least you think there is and there really isn't it's just this and a brush the brush sucks don't use that but this is really awesome so I go for a super skinny brush it is a brush like this and I just dip that into product like so just kind of cover it and I start to wing Cool, and that's how I do that section. The next thing that we're going to do is just put on some mascara and put on our falsies. If you want a detailed falsie tutorial, let me know. Same with the wing liner, actually. Wing liner, falsie tutorial. Let me know down below, and I'll be sure to do that video. Cool, so now that that is done, I'm going to be putting on some concealer under my eyes. I'm going to conceal these babies. And the concealer that I'm going to be using is my Maybelline New York Fit Me in the color 50. And I'm just going to put that all over my dark circles. And on my forehead, down the bridge of my nose, and here, here. And I discovered the cutest package ever for beauty blenders. And I got them from Clix. And it's this. How cute is this? It's got like the medium beauty blenders, the big one, and the teeny tiny one. It's so cute. And it was only like 80 Rand. And I think that that is worth it, hey? Okay, so I'm just going to take the medium size and I'm going to wet it with my instant matte setting. Not too much though. Like it's got to be damp but not too not wet you know what I'm saying and I'm just gonna use that to blend out this oh good great now that that is there we're gonna set this under eye and the setting powder that I'm gonna be using is um, by Laura Mercier it's kind of is an expensive product you can choose to use whatever powder you would like to use so the powders that I would recommend are black opal because that is amazing like it's the most amazing setting powder um, that is drugstore that I know of there's also NYX that you could use there's also Maybelline but I, I really do prefer black opal um, black opal you can get at clicks and you can get that at 
at Fashinis as well. I think it retails for about 200, between 200 and 300 Rand, but you get a significant amount of product and it stays and it lasts forever. And girl, if you're gonna be in the sun, you want that product, you want it. I'm just gonna put this on my face because we're gonna bake. So I'm just taking the same beauty blender, uh, putting the powder on just like that. I'm just gonna sweep that off. So now that that has been swept off, I'm gonna be putting on some mascara on my bottom lashes. Now, if you are a crier at weddings, girl, you don't wanna to put too much on your bottom <laughs> bottom waterline. Like, you don't wanna put on eyeliner. You don't wanna put on too much eyeshadow. You don't wanna do that to yourself. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take waterproof mascara, and the waterproof mascara that I absolutely love is from Essence, it's Lashes Go Big, but also Clinique has amazing waterproof mascaras. Um, L'Oreal also has some really great, no, not L'Oreal, Maybelline definitely. Any waterproof mascara that you have tried and tested will work. So I'm just going to take my Essence Lashes Go Big or Get Big Lashes, whatever, Curl Volume Mascara. And I'm just going to put that on my waterline, I mean my bottom lashes. Okay, so now that that is on, we have our mascara looking flazzles. We're gonna just put some color back into our faces, so we're gonna contour these cheekbones. Chisel out my face. Now, my product of choice, which is really dirty, I can't get this clean, this is the only thing I hate, is this uh, Maybelline Clear Smooth All-in-One Powder. And it looks like this. It had a little sponge here, but I threw that away. I'm just gonna use my contour brush by Real Techniques. Alrighty, so now that the contour is on, what I'm be doing now is highlighting, and my highlighter of choice today is the Black Up Highlighter. Black Up is in Edgar's, so if you go to Edgar's, any Edgar's store, I'm sure you can find the Black Up Highlighter. But you can choose whatever highlighter you want to use, girl. If you want to use, oh, I just saw one from Essence and I really, really wanted it. It's like a highlighter quad. Um, just like in a rectangle like that and it costs about 99 rand and i thought that that highlighter was absolutely beautiful like i'm gonna get that highlighter soon um but yeah whatever highlighter palette that you feel like you want to use girl go use it highlighter quad by jenny jenkins in collaboration with jenny jenkins should i say and it's the palette number two i'm gonna be combining this one and this one today so just across like that really like these two I'm just gonna put that on the tops of my cheekbones. Ooh, how nice. Tops of my cheekbones. Ooh, how fabs. And that is how we do that. Hopefully it's not too scary, cause dang, hmm. I went in, hey? Okay, so now that the highlighter is on, I'm gonna be taking some blush. Just take any type of blush that you want, man. Like if you want like an orangey look, take an orange blush, girl. If you want a purple, take your purple blush. I'm just gonna go with the one that I usually use. No, nope, I'm not gonna go with the one that I usually use. I'm gonna take a blush from Sleek. I don't know what the name is because the name is rubbed off, but this is the one that I'm gonna go for. Same highlighter brush that I'm using and I'm just gonna take some of that and just put that on my cheeks. Okay, now for lip color. The sky's the limit. And hardly anything to your eyes. You just got a cat eye going. You've just got, girl, whatever color you wanna put on now, it's up to you. Just make sure that it lasts you the whole day. Make sure that maybe you can only, that you only need to touch it up once or twice. At weddings, you usually drink a lot. So, and I don't mean alcohol, girl, unless that's your thing. But you're drinking something. <laughs> I don't know, at weddings, they're always just quenching your thirst. You're always drinking something. Just do whatever you wanna do, depending on how much time that you've got, depending on how often you wanna do this. Go for whatever color you wanna go for. If you're gonna maintain it the whole day, then maintain it the whole day. I am a gloss girl. I'm gonna take this gloss from the Kardashian collection in the color, in the color bold face. It's got like, gold 
flicks of color in it and there you have it that is my look for a wedding this is going to last the whole day make sure that you use a setting spray to keep things in place the setting spray that i'm using is from essence it's the instant matte makeup setting spray but you can get one from nyx you can get one from l'oreal you can get one from maybelline all of those work beautifully and that is it we are done lady we've got a face that is ready for you for the entire day girl the whole day your face is going to be looking as beat as it was when you left the house have fun enjoy all the weddings that you're going to be attending i'm going to be attending a few and this is the makeup that i'm going to be doing because i always do this makeup it's easy it's quick it's simple and it lasts the entire day so remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and to hit that bell button so that you never miss an upload from me. So from me, Toby, with love.